Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, today I'm gonna be showing you how to run Minecraft without Java, and it's updatable. All right, so I'll link in the description. But you download this, and I already did it. It'll give you a zip file like this one. What you do is you you should probably know how to do this. If you don't, then to open these you need WinRAR or 7-Zip or something, some compressor like that. Okay, so you hold press this, extract to the specified folder, pick wherever you want, right here. I already did it, so I don't need to do this. But then you will go to the folder that it gave you, which will be wherever you installed it, like I said before. And before I get started, you do need um you need to have a premium account. This isn't how to get it for free, this is how to get it without Java. So you have to pay for it if you didn't already. And it is updatable and you can play on servers if you do this. All right, so you go to, should full screen this, you go to MC no Java is the default name. You, normally what happens is you can, you run Minecraft P, it means Minecraft portable, and hold on a minute, it'll open this. Wait a minute. Going too low since I have fraps on. Alright, it'll open this and you sign in with your sign in. Again, you do need a premium account. I forgot how much it costs. I think it's like 25. Okay, yeah, let me fix that up. Log in. You're good at logging in. It'll say, Would you like to update? Not now. If you update through here, it will say, Um, It'll give you an error and you'll have to reinstall and you can't update through here, so don't even try. Alright, so here's what happens. You press not now. Done loading. Package this to load. Alright, I full screen that. And as you see down here, it says Minecraft 1.2.5. That's an old version. You don't want that. It works. It completely works. I can show you. Here's a create new world. Switching level, bouldering. Like I said, it completely works. Like it's just running on a 1.25. There's you can play on it. And once this opens, give it a second. Fraps is making everything run slower. Simulating the world. As you can see, I don't have Java, and this is working. It's lagging since I have Fraps running, but it's working. And so. Press E to open your inventory. Everything's everything good. Alright, so you save one. Well, you don't you know how to do this. So save and quit just have a quick game. Now what you want to do is you go into the same folder that your Minecraft P was in. Go into MCP data. Go to I don't have Java. I don't know why this is here. It's not a real Java folder, it's just a mimic. See, as you can see, I don't have Java. This is what happens when I try to run the actual Minecraft. Launch 4J. This version refers to a non-existent rough Java runtime environment installation, or the runtime is corrupted. The system cannot find this path specified. I do not have Java. Okay, so you go back. Yeah, you go into it from MC no Java to MCP data. Hopefully, I have my mouse on. If I don't, I'm sorry, guys. But hopefully, you could see what I'm doing, anyways. Um, go into dot Minecraft. Go into your bin, and go f just delete everything in here. And and delete and go back to MC no Java where you find Minecraft P run it you do need a premium account I, I don't want people to get mad saying this needs a premium account okay so you log in it'll do this it'll instead of in Java, it updating your whole computer and your Java and stuff and your whole Minecraft server it just updates your jar and done loading Mojang 1.47 as you can see in the bottom corner it is now 1.47 everything works single player test play selected world this is for if you don't have Java Fraps is making everything run so slow okay well okay okay now I'm on 1.47 
and I can connect. I don't want to do it. It'll take a long time, but I can connect to servers. I can play online. I can do whatever I want. So that's how you do it. And to install mods, it's in the directory. This is what you do to install mods. First, you'll most likely need Mod Loader. Just Google that, Mod Loader 1.47, and you can get it. And go into MCP data dot minecraft into your bin binary and into your minecraft dot jar which is this one it might not say dot jar I might say dot jar I don't know um, once that opens you'll see all these things and here's what you do you gotta you gotta you gotta go into local disk E I already have it it's easy to find the download just go into where is it mod loader mine's mod loader one because the other one's not an updated version so I open it, I drag all these files into my Minecraft bin binary, I'm minecraft.jar, my bad, and you drag these here and you press OK. And then you up here where it says meta imp, meta imp, up here at the very top it should be, you delete that. And then you should have mod loader and then any other mods you want to install you do the exact same thing I have found with this version with this non Java version it might be because it's not Java um certain weapon mods don't work but most of the mods should work and if you install a texture pack for some reason fire will most likely show up as a blank space that says update Minecraft and you should actually be able to run Minecraft. No, actually, no. I think that requires Java for MC Updater. But, okay. So, Fire may be glitchy if you're using a texture pack. And certain weapon mods may not work. And, warning, if you try to install gun mods, that's the only, only thing I've tried that hasn't worked in some weapon mods. It will black screen you, and you'll have to reinstall your Minecraft, do this again, and then have to reinstall... Um, the mod loader and all that and the ones I've tried out the mods I've done is too many items works it's where like you open your inventory and you have every item and ray minimap which I'm sure you guys seen that <clears throat> I'm sure you guys have seen that it's a minimap in your top corner up here all right so I hope this helps you guys um like favorite subscribe uh so yeah thanks